Welcome to Growing with Miss Glenn. Hi friends and welcome to math challenge number one. Today we're going to dive into solving some math word problems and we're going to talk about all the steps that you need to take to make sure that you do it the right way. Now before we begin, I just want you to close your eyes and visualize the math problem. Picture it in your head as if it's actually happening. Audrey picked five flowers from a flower patch. Her friend Nora picked eight flowers. How many flowers did they have all together? The first thing we do when we see a math word problem is we write our cheat sheet at the bottom of our page. And that is RDW2. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now when I solve math problems, I like to use this little cheat sheet to help me all the steps and all of the directions with pictures and examples in case I get confused. Now when we work through our math problem, we're going to cross out each letter as we're done with it. Our first letter is the R. And in order to cross out the R, you have to star the R, which means you have to put three lines through it because there's three different things you have to do before you can move on to the next letter. The first thing you need to do is read. Let's read. Audrey picked five flowers from a flower patch. Her friend Nora picked eight flowers. How many flowers do they have all together? And now I can check off my first box in the R and I can put my first line through the R. But remember, in order to move past the R, you have to star the R. You have to do three things. We've done one. The second thing we need to do is circle the numbers and keywords. There's a five, there's an eight, and our keyword here is the last word in the problem. And that word is all together. Can you say all together? All together. When we see this keyword all together, it usually means that we're going to be adding. So now that I've circled my numbers and keywords, I can go ahead and check off the second box in R. And I can make my second line on the R. But still can't move on yet. Remember, star the R. Three things, we've done two. The last thing we need to do for this part is box our question. What do we need to do? Box the question. Good, but you might say, well, Ms. Glenn, I don't know where the question is. How can I find the question? There are certain words that are called question words, and a question will usually start with one of these words. To remember what these words are, we have a chant. It goes like this. My turn. You're just watching and listening. Ears on. Turn them up. Zoop. Our question word chant. Who, what, when, where, and why. How? Try it with me if you can. Who, what, when, where, and why. How? If we see one of those words, it's probably the start of our question. Now there's another little trick too. A question ends with a question mark. So if we can find a question word to start the question and a question mark, we have our question. Let's look at our problem today. How, that's the start of the question, how many flowers did they have all together? And there's our question mark. So I am going to box the question. And now that my question's boxed, I've completed the third checkbox for my R. I can make my third line. I have starred the R and I can move on to the next letter. The next letter is D. What do we need to do for D? Draw and label. What do we need to do? Draw and label. When we draw and label, we wanna make sure it goes right along with the question. There's a couple different ways that we can draw, but today we're just gonna focus on drawing dots. Here we go. Audrey picked five flowers from a flower patch. I'm gonna draw five dots to represent those five flowers. And I'm going to label it with a letter A so I know that those are Audrey's flowers. Now I'm going to stop and think. Audrey picked five flowers and Nora picked flowers. They didn't get rid of any. 
they both picked some. So it sounds like I need to draw some more flowers for Nora. Nora picked eight flowers. Now I'm gonna switch to X's here so I can see very easily which flowers are Audrey's and which flowers are Nora's. Eight flowers for Nora. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna label it N for Nora. Now that I've drawn and labeled, I can check off my D box, cross it off here, and move on. Next step is W2. There's two things that I need to do in this box. The W stands for write. The first thing I need to write is a number sentence. Can you say number sentence? Number sentence. So just like our drawing, the number sentence goes right along with the problem as well. Audrey picked five flowers. What do you think our first number in the number sentence is gonna be? Five. Our first number is going to be five. Then we decided that we were adding together because Audrey picked some flowers and Nora picked some flowers. Another clue that we had that we were adding was our keyword that we circled all together. All together usually means that we're adding as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put my plus sign. What's our next number? How many flowers did Nora pick? Eight. Equals. Here's where we're going to put our total. All together, how many flowers did they have? To find that out, I'm just going to go back and I'm going to count all of the flowers. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's a lot of flowers. I have my total, but I'm not done yet. I'm going to circle the number that I found to help me later. Now I know that I found 13 because if I look back in the problem, five, they gave me five in the problem, eight, they gave me eight in the problem. 13, I can't find 13 in my word problem. I found that number all by myself. I've completed my first checkbox in the W. Write a number sentence. The last step, now I want you to stand up for this one. The last step to finish our word problem is we need to write a statement. And to remember statement, we stomp our foot. So stomp with me. The last step is we have to write a statement. Good job. So you might be saying, okay, we have to write a statement, but what's a statement? A statement answers the question that you already boxed, and it uses the number that you found that we already circled in a complete sentence. So let's reread our question. How many flowers did they have all together? Okay, well we know the answer because we circled the number that we found, 13. But we need to put it in a complete sentence. They had 13 flowers. If I'm not sure how to spell some of the words, a lot of them are right back in the word problem. They, space, have, 13, here's the number we found, flowers. And I always end my sentence with a period. I can cross off my last step because I have written my statement. Great job solving our math problem today. Check back in tomorrow for challenge number two. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something and subscribe to be notified when the next video is available.